Hey everybody, welcome back. JB here. This is more of a community than a channel as always and I love to hear comments below and today we got an unboxing. Now I'm going to get into the review but this is the Promo, I think. Little, little keyboard ink display. This is a good one. Let's see if this thing's more than a toy. All right, let's get into it. Okay, here we are. We've got this. Came in from Good E-Reader. I ordered it from the guys at Good E-Reader. You know, I got it in about a, a week from Japan, so it's not too bad. Let me get into the box here without destroying everything. Um, let me see. This is a couple hundred dollar item. Let me see. How does this open? There's a lot of stuff. When it comes from overseas, they always put in all this uh, plastic and stuff, so we just want to get through this. Let's see. There we go. Uh, we are in. Okay, so we are unboxing this small unit. Let's see. It comes in a regular box, and then they obviously put it in here. So here it is. This is the box, the shipping container, and then we are into the King Jim Pomero unit. Let's flip it around here and see what do we have in the box, and what is this thing? Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. We take it out of here. Okay, we open it up. We have a manual. The manual is huge. I mean, this thing is a thick manual. Uh, this is a Japanese company, and it looks like it's all in Japanese. Do we turn it over? Yes, it, not English. I don't see anything in English here. Uh, so, but big manual. If you speak Japanese, you're good to go. Okay, here is the device. This thing is pretty cool. Look at how small it is. Now, I'm going to see, to me, if the keyboard is any good, that's going to be the key because I am, you know, obviously writing my books and I want to see if this thing uh, is any good. So, as we open it up, it's a DM30. Okay, here it is. So, it's about the size of a, about a, the large iPhone. So, you can fit this in your, not in your pocket, but it's small enough, right? You see that? Okay, so it opens up. Let's see how it feels when you open up. So, one side opens. Okay, that's the screen. Okay, so there's the screen. And then as we open this up, it's got the two little sides there. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and these things, as you open them, come out. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So you can see on the bottom to level it out. They come out. Actually feels all right. Kind of, it's okay. It's not bad as far as build quality. Then your little screen comes up and then you're ready to go. So you can kind of see it here on the upper view. It's a little screen. It comes up and then you have it, have it you're good to go. Um, let's just say the dog, I always do the dog runs fast on my things. This. Okay, so key bird quality. Now this is a real key. Uh, it feels, it's got obviously Japanese stuff on here, but it feels a little tight. It doesn't feel like a standard keyboard. But of course, this is a compact thing that goes, I think this goes first, this goes first, and that goes, it can take anywhere. Um, like the free write, right? I guess that's what the competitor is. And then it opens up, the dog runs fast. Now this is going to be a full review until I get to use this thing. Okay, so that first case, keyboard is a little clicky not up to my standards as far as like the Google Pixel Book Go, which I take with me and that's what I can write with. I really don't need this. But it's not too bad. It reminds me of kind of the travel keyboards that you have, right? So then it runs on batteries. So let's take a look on this other side. Uh, you have an unlock and a lock. So let's just look, see if there's any batteries in here. There's no batteries in here. So I'm gonna go grab some batteries and put some batteries in there. And then it has this uh, here. This is like a, a watch battery, I think. So there, that open, it has an SD card spot and a place to plug in the cable. Is there a cable that comes with it? Let's see if a cable is in one of these sides. Or, you know, everybody has USB cables, but let's just see if there's one in here. Um, I'm not seeing any. Could be in the box somewhere, but I'm not seeing a USB cable to attach it. Let's just pull it out. Let's just take it all apart. No, no USB cable. Well, we tried. We made an attempt. No. Okay, so you can hook it up with the USB here. Uh, you do have batteries that you can put in there. And then it, you open it up. Boom, 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 and you're ready to go. Let's see, where is the power button on this thing? Uh, let's see. 
let's see. Well, I got to put some batteries in it. So what I want to do is we're going we're gonna to stop the recording, put some batteries in it, and just give it kind of a first test and see if we can turn it on. Uh, the manual, like I said, is I don't see anything in English. It's a huge manual, but nothing in English. It's all in Japanese. But let's go ahead and try this out. Let me put some batteries in it, and we'll test it out. Okay, batteries are in hand. We have a pack of batteries. We close it down like this. Remember, my reviews are just real time. All right, so we got a couple of AA batteries. Let's see what happens if we stick these in here. Uh, unlock, open that, and let's see. Which way do they go? Two AA batteries. So I think they go this way. Yes, they do. Okay, I don't have an SD card in there, but we're just going to go ahead and see if we can turn this on. The batteries are in. Okay, we are all set. King Jim, let's see what you got, King Jim. Oh, it's blinking. It is blinking. Okay, we do have functionality. Battery cover is unlocked, powering down. Uh-oh. Okay, that must have been my mistake. Okay, let's go back. It was in English. Lock it. Open it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we are in. We are in. Pomera. King Jim. King Jim, untitled. The... Ooh, it's, it's fast. This one's fast. Can you see that up there? I'm going to go ahead and put this flat so we can zoom in. And he knows how fast. I got to get used to the keyboard. It's a little bit smaller than I used to. what uh, first take on this thing it's not bad I got to tilt it up a little bit for me okay so entry is pretty quick feels pretty good first time using this thing um, the keyboards a little small but I can see how I mean, it is kind of gadgety. I, I'll tell you, it's kind of gadgety, and I got to get into all of it. But I can see how, you know, if you're on the go and you're a writer and somebody that wants to write some stuff. Um, it could work for you. For a couple hundred bucks, hundred, I think it's $250 from uh, Goody Reader, it could work. I, again, this is not a full review. This is my typical unboxing. Let's take a look at this thing, see how it works. Um, for something that's small, and you can just grab it and go, I mean, do you, I mean, I have my Google Pixelbook Go, right? So it's just a little bit bigger than that. But I mean, this could be something that you go out in the, in the park or you go and you're, you're a book writer and you just want to write. I think it really competes with the free, free write, right? I mean, that's what it does. And it, it works. I'm going to test it. So what I'm going to do is do a challenge with it. I'm going to type with it for a couple weeks. Uh, and then we'll do another video. It's not touch screen. I know that. Oh, so what happens when you reopen? Okay, you got to go back to the top. Okay, so I think it's just you're going to write one document. I do like to keep track of word count. I don't know if it has that. So we got to see, uh, is this easy to type on? It's not bad. I mean, once you get used to the keyboard, once you get used to the keyboard, it works okay. Okay, so for those of you that are interested in this product, what I'm going to do, Goody Reader did a, did a review on this too, but I'm going to work with it for a couple weeks and give you my review. Is this something that I throw in my bag uh, that I can use to type if, you know, somewhere? I mean, again, I have all the devices, iPad, Google Pixel, but I'm going to give this a shot just because the form factor is pretty cool and how does it fit in my workflow? It, it, it's not bad. It, it works all right. I mean, it feels okay. Um, what questions do you have? Put them in the comments below. What do you want to know about this thing? So I can do a couple videos on it and we can do some reviews. Now, I don't sell this. I bought this from Goody Reader. Goody Reader, guys, if you're watching this, love to connect with you at some point. By the way, we've never connected. I buy some stuff from you. Quality's decent, feels good, well-built quality. 
Um, the keyboard feels a little bit like a travel keyboard. The little ink screen's pretty cool. I mean, it's a neat little device. I mean, it's gadgety, but I think for the right person, for 250 bucks, if you're writing a lot of books and you need something to throw in the bag and write a couple chapters or get some words, you know, get some words out, this could work. Now, let me work on it. I'm gonna put an SD card in it. I'm going to uh, hook it up to the computer, see how you transfer the files, see if that is all really easy, use it for a couple weeks, and then I'll come back. And then the comments below, please put questions that you have about this little keyboard, which I think competes with the free write that you can take with you. About a week from Goody Reader wasn't bad. The manual is not gonna help you unless you speak Japanese, which I don't, uh, but, I, but it's pretty intuitive and I think you can figure it out and I'm gonna work with it a little bit this week. So comments down below so when I get back to this and we can do another video on it, I would love to hear from you, okay? As always, thanks for watching. If you can give us a thumbs up, that helps us a lot with the algorithm. If you like what we're doing here, and of course, hey, that subscribe's great. Love to have you be a part of this where we do energy, personal development, all kinds of great stuff and just have fun. That's what we're doing, the Pomero keyboard kind of typer, typewriter. That's what we're looking at today. A lot of fun. All right, until the next one, go have a great day.